Today's film is really going to be a really, really quick film. It's a response to a question that was left on one of our previous YouTube films. And the question was, how do you clean your crucibles once you've been melting your gold and melting your silver in them? And that's what I'm going to be answering today. My name is Andrew Berry and welcome to At The Benches YouTube channel. We do a lot of melting down here in our workshop. We melt down silver, we melt down gold, and we've been doing that for many, many, many years. In fact, from the first day I actually started up in business. A little bit of a messy workshop today. We're downstairs in our workshop that's attached to our shop. Just to show you basically what I'm gonna do and how I'm gonna clean out these crucibles. So we use these little two inch crucibles that are attached to a crucible holder and we find these are absolutely gorgeous. You can melt a nearly 60 odd grams in these little crucibles. We've got a larger, oops Daisy, what a mess. We've got larger crucibles as well, but we very, very rarely use these. These are absolutely huge. And because they're bigger, they do take an awful lot of heat to heat them up. But as you can see in this particular crucible here, we have got this, this coating. Coating is great. It really should be quite clear or quite smoky. This is really, really quite dark, as you can see. And what happens if you're melting down some metal? It happens to have some stones in it, some um, synthetic stones or something like that, or some impurities. Perhaps it have, may have a little bit of a spring in it if you're melting some bolt rings down or some catches. Those springs and those odd bits of stones get caught up in the flux that happens to be left within the crucible. And that's what you can see in this little area here. It's lovely and glazed, which is what it should be, but it's dark and it needs cleaning out. Now, there are various ways that we can clean out these uh, crucibles. For me, the quickest and easiest way is once we have finished melting down, finished melting down our silver or our gold and poured it out into our ingot molds like these here, the crucible is nice and hot. But then I would continue heating that crucible. And if you hold that crucible vertical like this and you continue heating it, all the flux will be molten and will all dribble down and dribble down out of the crucible. And that's exactly what I'm going to quickly show you today. You can let that flux um, end up on the soldering boards or what I like to do is just dribble it and let it pour out onto a steel block or a steel base of one of the um, ingot molds that I've got here and that would be ideal because then it doesn't stick and doesn't damage your soldering boards. So that's what we're going to do. Let's just move those to one side there. It's an absolute pigsty down here. It's just a few days after Christmas and we really haven't had a chance to tidy up yet. So let's just heat up this crucible and I'll show you what we're going to do. Now it doesn't have to be one of these torches. It can be any sort of torch. It can be a little handheld butane torch, a sievert torch, propane torch. This is, um, we've got um, if it wants to light. There we go. Um, this is one with oxygen and propane and we are simply going to heat this up. I would advise you because the flux does get really, really bright. So if you have some welding goggles, I would seriously suggest you wear these because the light that is reflected back at you is very, very bright and you could damage your eyesight. So safety first, put on your pair of dark glasses just to protect, oh, very stylish, just to protect your eyes because the light is very, very bright. So let's just warm this up. As I said, I've got a little area by here that we're going to pour the excess flux onto it and we're going to heat this up. It's always best to do this once you have heated up your silver or your gold and poured it out because the crucible is nice and hot. And it'll only take a matter of a minute or so after you've melted it down just to get all the flux out. Now, 
and if you use one of these torches a little oxygen and propane torch you can use the flame to sort of push down the flux and push it out of the crucible if you're using a little handheld butane torch or a little sievert torch it'll take a little bit longer and obviously if you are melting down your gold and your silver and you see some impurities in the crucible whilst you're melting down it's always best to take them out when you see them rather than let them stay in there and perhaps contaminate the next melt so you can see how bright now this crucible is we're paying attention to the top of the crucible here the back of the crucible we've got the crucible fairly vertical and we're going to be heating up the flux and the flux is moving its way down the crucible see if I can increase the heat of that a little bit there we go better and by doing this and having the crucible upright the flux will work its way down to the lift and you just simply pour it out it's as simple as that now you can see the flux coming out of the crucible dripping onto the steel block I find this is an easier way to do it and quicker way of doing it And then when it comes down to the lip, keep on heating and just let that flux all dribble out. And then once all the flux has dribbled out, take off your glasses and just check the bottom of the crucible you can see now in the bottom of the crucible there we've got some little looks like little, little springs that are left from when we have been melting some metal down just use a simple soldering pick now just to take them out because we don't want them anywhere near our molten gold or silver the next time we melt down there we go and there we have a lovely clean crucible ready for the next time we want to start melting down these little bits that you've got now down here as you can see they have come off that metal bit nice and easily these couple of bits down here got stuck but there we go so what I would do is not even throw those little bits away I would put them into my perhaps my sweeps jar because there could be some little bits of gold some little bits of silver in that little bit of borax that's come out but as you can see we've got a nice a lot of borax there that was coating that crucible and the crucible is still fine you've still got a coating of flux on that crucible so you don't have to sort of re-season that crucible again and that crucible is ready to live for another day simple simple technique so don't forget please subscribe if you haven't done so already don't forget please smash that little bell icon if that is something that you're into don't forget please give this film a thumbs up if you like it and please share it with your friends i'd absolutely love you to anything else you want me to show you any little tips or tricks or any questions you've got please leave it in the comment section down below i'll try and answer as many as i can if i can't write a brief description well then perhaps i'll produce a little video like i have done for this film but in the meantime my name is andrew berry for at the benches youtube channel take care i will see you next time Ta da a really quick film for you today this film is as is as a quick film for you today this film is is as a response no is this film is a response yeah 
and it was a question that was asking there's a question that was asking why am i using too many words just say what it's all about andrew and just shut up is a response to a you oh. my name's andrew berry and welcome to at the benches youtube channel yes how long did that take me four minutes 40 seconds longer than what the film is gonna take Phew. smells in here doesn't it Phew. subscribe if you haven't done so already smash that little bell icon if you th if that isn't don't forget please subscribe if you haven't i'm pointing by there it could be by there if i could go by here i can say it's by there can't i yeah so don't forget please subscribe please smash the little bell icon i don't know why i did that it's that way isn't it it's down below i'd absolutely love you i'd absolutely love you oh anyway anyway i come on i right, don't worry all right that's it that's that's i'll just make do with the last one do you know what this film now is nearly 20 minutes long i've made so many mistakes 20 minutes long for how long has this film actually taken five minutes if that that's really embarrassing i'm not a one take man i'm about a 10 15 take man anyway what am I talking now? That's the end. Bye-bye.